So I've gone from talking about Kareem Hunt, and his wasn't really that of a sexual assault. That one was just merely assault. To Neil deGrasse Tyson, now they're saying that he, his involved sexual assault. And I'm telling you, like, it just goes from bad to worse. When I said, saw his name up there trending on Twitter, I was like, huh? Like many other people, we was like, of all people, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I said, if they can go after him, they can go after anybody. And that's being truthful out of all people. But, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson is like a world-renowned astrophysicist. Um, I think he's appeared on Bill Maher. Yuck. And, you know, a few other people's shows and whatnot. You know, the man is very intelligent. I'm not even going to lie. He's a very smart and intelligent man. And I think that's the biggest threat against him is that he's a, a smart, intelligent black man. And, you know, the establishment doesn't like that. And I think we're about to see exactly what that means. And now Neil deGrasse Tyson looks like he's getting the Bill Cosby treatment just based on the premise of his situation. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from AV News. It says astrophysicist and television host Neil deGrasse Tyson issued a lengthy statement on Facebook this evening outlining his perspective on the incidents that led to a series of accusations of sexual misconduct and in one case assault against him that gained public attention earlier this week. Tyson's statement also says that he welcomes an investigation into his behavior in these incidents stating that in any claim evidence matters. Evidence always matters. But what happens when it's just one person's word against another's and the stories don't agree? That's when people tend to pass judgment on who was more credible than whom. And that's when an, an impartial investigation can best serve the truth and would have my full cooperation to do so. Of the three accusations against him, all primarily, primarily reported on by David McAfee, a writer for the website Patheos, Tyson only explicitly factually refutes the one from musician Tachaya or Tachia Amet who said that Tyson drug and assaulted her when they were both in graduate school together. Now, I don't know how old Neil deGrasse Tyson is, but I'm going to say he may be in his, but you know, black don't crack, so he could be in his 50s. I'm not entirely sure. And I'm going to guess when he was in graduate school, he was probably in his early 20s. We're talking probably over 30 years ago, right here. Th that's probably the length of time that we're talking about. And you're just now bringing that up. Just now bringing that up. Like, that's crazy. That's why I said he's now getting the Bill Cosby treatment. Why didn't you say anything then? But you know what? By the end of this video, I'm going to have a solution for, I will say, what men can do when it comes to situations like this. This is actually something that I saw on Facebook, and I think it might actually work. It says, Tyson acknowledges that he and Amet, then living under a different name, had a brief sexual relationship, but denies that the incident in question ever happened. Of the two incidents of alleged sexual misconduct, meanwhile, Tyson broadly acknowledges the events in question, but says his intent was misinterpreted and that his enthusiasm and offers of friendship were seen as sexual interest instead. See, that's another thing right there. A lot of uh, women tend to see a guy and i'm not gonna say every woman but if it's a guy that they like and the guy's being friendly they'll take it as another thing like i'll give you an example black i'm gonna ask you this if if y'all didn't know idris elba and he came up and just started a casual conversation with you how would you react now that's if you didn't know him now if idris elba you know as who he is today came up and started a casual conversation with you how would you be and I'm talking about he's not talking to you in a flirtatious way or anything like that. He's just having casual conversation. How would you react? Let me see here. Uh, it says, in both cases, he presents himself as a man apparently unaware of the power of his celebrity, lends him in interactions, whether with a colleague asking for a photo, as in the case of Dr. Caitlin N. Allers, who says he touched her inappropriately in the process or a production assistant who working for him like Ashley Watson, who says she was made uncomfortable when Tysus invited her to a private wine and cheese party in his room. The accusations against Tyson became more widely known last night when Fox and National Geographic both stated that they would be investigating the allegations. Tyson reiterated that he welcomes an independent investigation into his actions from both networks. 
I, whew, I do not know what to say. But you know what? There was a solution that I saw on Facebook today that just might work. They said to men in particular, especially in this Me Too era, record a woman telling you that you, that she, I'm sorry, gave you consent to have sex with her. You save that video just in case she tries anything funny later down the line. And you make sure you store it somewhere because she ain't going to try it the next day. It's going to be years when she thinks you've forgotten and you've probably uh, lost that footage. And if she refuses, tell her ass to leave. It's, it, I think it's gotten to that point now. It's actually gotten past that point. It is pretty much a staple now that is getting to the point where a lot of men are going to have to do this to protect themselves. It's almost to the point now where we can't even have casual conversations with another woman out of fear that she's going to try and pull this crap. Now, I saw that I'm I think that these women probably most likely were Caucasian. That's why you got to be extra careful when it comes to dealing with them because they are the grand mammy of pulling this stuff. I mean, history has proven it. However, it has rubbed off on a lot of other people looking for a come up. So you don't really know who to trust. That's why, unfortunately, now you have a lot of these men, especially a lot of these white men going MGTOW because they feel like that's the best way that they can protect themselves. And a whole bunch of other things, but I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole nother discussion for a whole nother day that I may not even have anytime soon. But like Harvey said, I qu- and I said it too on my Salim I Kill video, I question the timing. What do Neil De- what does Neil deGrasse Tyson have going on right now that can work to his benefit that this stuff just pops up out of nowhere? Just like with Bill Cosby, what did he have going on where this stuff just pops up out of nowhere? And with Salim Akil, I asked him the same thing. What's going, well, we already know what's going on with him. That had this pop out of nowhere. We know, well, his was self-explanatory, so we know what he has going on right now. But I'm talking about the ones we don't know. But hopefully, Neil deGrasse Tyson has some damn good lawyers and attorneys and investigators because he's going to need them because they are ready to take his ass to the grinder. And he said he's going to have a private investigation being done. I think that probably will will be best. After all, a lot of these other corporations love to have private investigations done for themselves. Now, watch them push back and say that, oh, he doesn't need to have a private investigation done. We're going to do it ourselves. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.